This is the final end of our ice age. It's happening right now in our lifetimes. You think of what happens, you stick an ice cube outside in a hot day, that's what happens to the glacier. I'm here at Pato Glacier with a team of researchers who are working to try and find out just how quickly it's disappearing. Well, dramatic change since last year, uh, which itself had been dramatic change from the year before. But we're seeing the further collapse of what had been a subglacial uh, ice channel that's now separating uh, the ice mass we're on right now from the rest of the glacier and a new river forming at the toe of the glacier with uh, bit of a waterfall there, all that wasn't there last year. We can see melt rates on the glacier melts downwards six to seven meters per year. If you think about the heavy rainfall um, that caused the flood would be 250 millimeters. That would be a terrible rainfall. This glacier can melt 6,000 millimeters of water off it in, in one summer. So it's a tremendous water source. The, what we've seen so far is that the melt and retreat are accelerating dramatically particularly since the uh, 2021 heat dome hit this. And uh, normally the glacier would retreat 20 to 30 meters per year. It retreated uh, almost 300 meters in one year after that. Pato Glacier should still have some fresh snow on it, but it's all melted this year. And without that fresh snow, it can't make the ice it needs to survive. Uh, we used to argue that glaciers provide drought proofing for Alberta because in the hottest, driest years, those are the years the glaciers melt fastest, particularly in late summer. Um, but what we're seeing now is, yeah, that's still happening, but the glaciers have become so much smaller than they were 30 or 40 years ago that the impact of that drought proofing is becoming smaller. Humanity has grown up around glaciers, evolved around glaciers in Europe and in North America, and uh, we're seeing their end uh, within our lifetimes right now. That will have tremendous impacts on things like temperatures of streams and uh, the ability of trout and salmon to live, hydropower generation, water supply for us. Glaciers are a big thermometer. This thermometer says things are getting warmer and they're getting drier. 